Hi, I'm Mikey and you're watching City Lights on Novus TV. Tonight we are at the opening of the Vancouver Web Fest. It brings together creative works from around the world designed for an online audience. We're also going to meet a few online celebs. Let's check it out. We are in our second year. We uh, had our first year last May and of course Novus was there for us. Thank you very much. And we uh, were really excited this year. We got uh, entries from probably, I think, 17 different countries as far away as Singapore. And again, we're at a new venue at Performance Works on Granville Island, and it's phenomenal. Like, I'm just absolutely thrilled with the people that uh, came in. So tell us, what inspired you to start the Vancouver Web Fest? Uh, a couple years ago, a friend of mine and I did a web series, and it got into LA Web Fest, so I flew down there. And while I was there, I was thinking, wait a second, I don't think we have a Web Fest in Canada. And well, I checked it out, came back up, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to start a web fest, and I did. <laughs> and I think you're doing quite a lot of really interesting things here. You've got workshops, you've got guest speakers. Yeah. Well, what we did too this year is I just, I mean, festivals are great. Like, they're very informative. They've got the films. They've got the people that, you know, have involved in the films, or in our case, web series. But... While there's like screenings going on, I just find that people sort of, you know, there's nothing really else. So we also wanted to be interactive in the sense that this year we've got, like you said, the wolves, um, we've got the falcons, we've got a giant tortoise coming in. And what that panel is about is working with animals on set. But instead of just talking to the people that work with the animals, like the handlers, I'm like, let's bring the animals in. So tell us about our friend right here. This is Damu. He is an ambassador wolf. Uh, he's three years old. Uh, as you can see, he's totally relaxed, just enjoying the everything that's going on. He's actually what we call a high-content wolf dog. Most animals you'll see working on set, like True Blood, Vampire Diaries, even Game of Thrones, uh, are high-content wolf dogs. What that means is just a little bit of dog and mostly wolf. So he's about 85% wolf. Uh, that 15% is dog, ranging from Siberian Husky, Malmute, and Great Pyrenees. So we might actually be sitting here with one of the newest stars. Possibly up and coming in Hollywood, huh? Uh, you very well may be. He already has an ego, so... <laughs> but yeah, he's actually done a lot. I mean, last year we did 40 different shoots for film and photography. Um, so he's, you know, who knows? We'll, we'll have to see what this year brings. So, tell us about your show. My show is called Dress Up, and it's all about dressing Broadway stars for their opening nights on Broadway and sort of watching the whole process from thinking about what they want to look like to choosing the right outfit and then getting the reveal at the party on opening night. And what we do is we follow the whole process and then the night of the show, I'm on the red carpet interviewing the celebrities as they come into the show, which is really fun, of course, I love that. And then we go to the party and it's like the reveal, you get to see, you know, what the star has worn. This is how you look on a red carpet. Ladies and gentlemen, Diane Weiss, a legend. Can I say, yes. I I'm on cloud nine. I am. The, the kids, Paula, are yeah. phenomenal. And as a stylist, what's kind of your philosophy when you're dressing someone? It really is about the fact that when two people see each other for the first time, they make a story in their head, like it happens right away. Like I saw you, I looked at you, you looked at me, and we thought something, right? So I want you to be perceived the way you want to in the world. I call it conscious dressing. And, and, and have people see you the way you want to be seen for whatever you're doing. Because the deal is, you have to wear clothing by law. You're required. And so I think your clothing should say to the world exactly what you want it to. What brings you to Vancouver Web Fest? Right, besides you, uh, I'm here because I have, um, uh, there's a, a web series uh, uh, that is uh, here called Parked, which I'm one of the uh, um, writers, actors, and uh, associate producers on. Yes, it's very funny and it's very filthy. Uh, this one here, she had ridges on her tongue and I almost married this woman. Duh, why wouldn't I, right? And if they ever start arguing about Gloria Estefan, you pay your f bill and you find the nearest f exit. Pardon my friend. And how do you get traction to get your story known? Here's what I found. If you can get a producer and you can get pictures of him in an uncompromising position, well, you're a gold. You have to have a good product. You have to have a good story. You can only go so far. I mean, you can get all your friends on Facebook and everything to like like it and push it along. I mean, that's ultimately what it comes down to is whatever platform you're on, 
the more people that are watching what you create. If you're hitting the zeitgeist, if, if what you're creating, even if it doesn't have great production values, if what you're making is exciting to the people out there, then, then that's what studios, and that's where the money will come from. Are you guys gonna get tattoos one day? Vancouver Webfest is full of workshops, screenings, speakers and a whole lot more. If you ever wanted to break into the online world, make sure to check out VancouverWebfest.com for all the details. I'm Mike Evers and you're watching City Lights on Novus TV. 